Hi folks, I am Steve Sapporo with Security Info Watch and I'm happy to be here in the, this is the first timers uh, pavilion, if you will, of GSX 2022 and I'm happy to be here with Maureen French. And you are with Inquire AI and describe what you do because it's really, it's it's really amazing if you folks want if somebody wants to find a subject matter expert or something. Absolutely, Go absolutely. Ahead. Thank you so much, Steve. So we are uh, Enquire AI. I'm part of the leadership organization, and what we do is we are an AI-powered technology that connects organizations with subject matter experts on the ground in real time. So where you might need to get input or information on a situation that's unfolding on the ground, where there is an incident, you need to ask a question more specific to your business or to your industry, our technology platform allows you to connect with people on the ground to give you that information and expertise. Oh wow, so this is far better than trying to analyze a Twitter fire hose. Absolutely, so this takes down not only, think of it as an intelligence platform meets crowdsourcing, and it meets in the middle. So oh my God, that's really detailed. Why don't you just, just get, you never get, the get back to that <laughs> micro dossier on that person. I'm just gonna see if I can get a little closer because yeah. Oh, yeah. that was very cool. It showed some background on that yeah. one person. So, so what you've got is a question that you can ask. This is a question that was specifically asked on security controls. And then you have experts that are responding. But not only are you getting a response, but you're getting a full CV and background of the individuals that are responding. So if you think about accessing our own personal networks for information and content, this drives you to get insights from people you would not normally get from. We've got 55,000 people around the world on the ground that give you information. Our AI automatically sends the questions to individuals and within 24 hours, you get up to 10 responses from experts around the world. And they have 600 words to give you information and insights on whatever that question you might have specific to your business. And I see there, this allows a direct call link as well. Correct, so as in a traditional expert network, you not only have the ability to get the insights, but as traditional, you can actually get a, on a conversation and have a one hour phone call with that expert. If you see their response was interesting, if you see their response was maybe something you didn't expect and you wanna know more, you can actually directly through the platform schedule a call with that expert and get into greater detail, ask them further questions and have further insights on that topic. That's amazing. So these are verified subject matter experts yep. with feedback ratings. Correct. So part of the process is also going in and making sure that once someone provides you a response, so when Nat responds with his information on this particular topic, as a uh, subscriber, you actually go in and rate them, which goes into part of our algorithm within AI. So, so this is how we assign them. I'm sorry to interrupt you. So, yeah, um, what I was just basically going to say, the power of having your own AI algorithm is it's not based on legacy search criteria. So, that does not need to be a question that was asked before. Exactly. And frankly, I would say oh more God, than. 50% of what we do are questions that are so incredibly specific to an organization or to a business. This is an airline that actually needed to understand the threats on the ground in Tel Aviv to their crews and to different airlines on the ground when they're going to the hotels based on the situation. Why aren't you in a really, really large group? <laughs> we are a new business. We've only been around a little under four years now. So we are really working both at a direct enterprise level, so working directly with organizations to add and complement their um, their sources today but then also working with those intelligence providers to add this as another area that they can provide to their clients so both in a direct and indirect way so they're isolated they're satisfied so you're a trusted source yep you're a trusted uh, aggregate i hate to say aggregate but you're, you're an aggregator an analysis a link to a human resource 
Oh, recruiter, because we actually allow our clients to hire our experts for temporary projects or long-term engagements. <laughs> exactly. We bring on about a thousand experts a month. We have fifty-five thousand today. Um, always adding experts, and you can see actually at an aggregate here on the top, all of our clients the last thirty days the type of questions that get asked. So in ESG, sustainability, um, we have a lot of procurement teams that ask about buying patterns and information about providers. There's such a, a wide swath of questions that can be asked and information based on our, our team's expertise. Well, I can tell you that these uh, research facilities, like one of them that I'm writing with now, research paper on the next 50 years of security, this should, definitely, not only should this be definitely included, but they should use you. Absolutely, to, to find, find additional information. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. So how does somebody get pre-screened for this? Because I'm sure that you have to achieve some trust. Yeah, absolutely. So our experts, we actually have a team uh, that goes out and does recruiting for experts. We do it through LinkedIn and, and certain institutions, but you have to have a minimum of five years experience in a particular area to be tested and sought after and to really to be considered in a particular area. And then you go through a full compliance test and then you're maintained in the platform on an ongoing basis. You get questions through a mobile app. It's a very simple process for them to sign up it's about a four week for us to assess to figure out if they are the right individuals that we should vet and present as our own. So uh, you can actually analyze if somebody is overusing a particular keyword that they never really explained. Correct, correct. This is, so it's really The power of my technology. Own, my own personal experience with AI is I was doing so much research, but not learning from the research because I was finding most everybody that was writing on it were generalists. So I actually had to go to somebody like JL Mastery, he's, he's a PhD in Australia, and I really learned from his publications. It was very difficult, but what I found was there are so many generalists in various areas. Are you finding that? Absolutely. And, and what's interesting is we have clients that are using our platform to break through those generalists. So we have a client that sits in the Middle East that is doing a white paper on electric vehicles and they needed to know who should they use to look at and understand the nuances between oil and gas within that market. But then who could they also use so they asked a question specific to it, but then they want to say, okay, we'd like to see somebody who would be willing to endorse our white paper in that region, given the nuances, go through red line it, make sure that we're putting the right position forward. Okay, so, so let me throw something out. Sure. So you brought up EVs, right? Yep. So one of the things, you know, that I also cover is research okay. on, EVs and sustainability, but you know, power, power technology. So I've studied, I used to work with medicine, so I studied the different battery technologies, and one of the batteries that Tesla has just started deploying on the track is, let's say, the, 40, the new 4168, okay. which is a cathode base, uh, and uh, it's wrapped around, it's kind of like a, it's four times the diameter of a diesel, you know, but it's fantastic for. Uh, it, it's it's about eighty percent more efficient. So if that just just started coming out, how would you track that sort of new information? Would you accommodate something like this? Yeah. So based on the people who have the knowledge and information, there might be organizations that are asking, "Tell me more about this. What do you know? How does it get adopted in certain markets? Um, how do we present it? What are the challenges going into a particular country related to this? Brilliant. It could be." policy questions, it could be just general market questions, it could be manufacturers questions, it could be supply chain. So Perfect. now so we have this. Were trying to tool for a new battery, you know, and they're looking for it and they're analyzing, you know, that they have to they have to know is this battery toolable? Exactly. Then you know they're serious. Exactly, exactly. So there really is such a 
a, a wide range of, of information that can be gleaned from this. On average, our client base has four completely separate departments, departments that utilize this platform. So think about security, intelligence, procurement, you've got the business continuity teams, you've got the market research teams, you've got the M&A teams, you've got corporate development, all are using the platform for different reasons because we can answer so much of the questions that the organizations are in need of. This is what research really should be. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And, and we never met. Never met. Yeah. Never. <laughs> never. But I hope that other people will want to come to Boots 3163 to We're see what we have to, to offer. We're going to put this up on YouTube because, candidly, I don't know if I can afford, uh, afford something like uh, yours, but I would love to get qualified because, you know what? I do great research papers and my... And, and the same thing that I go through, practitioners have to be going through to say, you know what? I've heard so often that this technology is not ready, quote unquote, not ready for prime time. But you know what? Uh, Everybody else is saying it is. It is. It is. And, it's uh, going to keep getting refined, yeah. but it's ready. Because and you the, verified it and you validated it. And the difference here, Steve, is that it's we're not using AI to answer the questions. We're using AI to get you to the people that can answer the questions. And that's a big difference because you might need to answer something that's very timely and very specific to today and now. If you've got a stack full of data and we're just pumping information to you, that's what Google's doing. And you've got to go through 15 pages to find what's relevant. We get to the relevance because we're connecting, using the AI to connect the people. So we believe that the technology isn't going to take over fully. We believe the human element is incredibly important in this. But let's make it faster. All of this happens in 24 hours. I totally agree with you because for a researcher, Google is pretty much unusable. You have to have a really strong uh, grasp on the technology itself. And this will shorten the research time exactly because you're not getting small snapshots. You've got to find a way to weave it together and put a validity score to it. That's and right. Have, That's right. Absolutely. In Absolutely. Our first conversation was, you know, the generalism, you know, hey, this uh, is somewhat sounds like a press release from <laughs> Bloomberg. Right. Right? Yep. Sounds like it. Sounds like it reworded. Maybe somebody was in a rush to make a deadline. I can't keep reading these rehash. I want to find out what the actual relevance is before I consider deployment. So, absolutely, absolutely. And that's why you're here. Yeah, for sure. This is absolutely tremendous. So, uh, how do we? How does one subscribe to this? Yep. So they just need to reach me, um, Maureen.French at Inquire.ai. Stop by booth 3163 and I'll get you all hooked up. We have and small packages. Link. We've got small packages as small as $5,000 a year, all the way up to whatever that access might need to be and how large of a team, so. Yeah, that's very, very low cost for startups. It so, is, it is. Yeah. Actually, and extremely important for uh, VC funding. You know, I think more companies that find out uh, that they're using you, I think it's going to uh, strengthen investments. In Absolutely. Future, Absolutely. Especially in this country. The only question is, hey, you know, is, uh, you know, are some countries that normally block, block the uh, publicity of, you know, different technology and subject matter experts? You know, I'm sure you've accommodated that. Yeah. You don't have to tell me how. Yep. Sure Absolutely. You Absolutely. You have to. You have to. Okay. <laughs> Where possible. <laughs> Enquire. Dot AI. AI. Yep. Marine French. You got it. Code name Mo. Code name Mo. Okay. Thank you, Mo. Thanks, Steve. Steve, this.